Hey guys, I was about to walk a client through how to outline their course in Trello and I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to share it with you as well because this is honestly one of my favorite organizational tools for creating an online course. So I'll show you this probably in like 60 seconds, but you just log into Trello, you create a board, and then you name the board whatever the name of your course is going to be. Of course, you can change this anytime, so it's not a life or death situation. Just create a name for it. And then you create a list for each of your modules. So I have module one, two, three, four, five, and six here. Now, when you do this in real life, I would change the name here to the name of the actual module. So if this was module one, how to outline your course, I would change this to how to outline your course. And then you add a card underneath each of these modules. And these are your lessons. So again, for demonstration purposes, I have lesson 1.1, lesson 1.2, lesson 1.3, and then so on for each of the modules here. Now, again, if you're doing this for real, I would go ahead and name these actual names of your lesson. And then the other awesome thing about Trello is that once you click on the card, you have room to put checklists and upload files, assign a due date, and also create a label. So this is how I like to organize the actual card itself. Here I have a checklist of what needs to be done for each lesson. And if you watch one of my other videos, I've talked about what actually needs to be created for each of your video lessons or each of your lessons within your modules. And that is a worksheet, you need to script your video, you need to create your lesson slides, you need to film your video, and then you need to edit your video. So here I have a checklist, and I can mark things off as it's completed. So I know exactly where I am with this actual lesson. And then I also have another checklist here for topics. But here are the topics that you want to discuss in each of your video lessons. So it's allowing you to get really granular as far as organizing and outlining your course. So not only do you have your modules listed, you have your lessons within the modules, and then you have your talking points or the main points that you want to get across in each video. And so you're going to change this to the actual point that you want to get across. So for example, if I wanted to outline the topic points for this short video, topic number one could have been outline your modules and lessons in lists and boards. So I would just type that here, outline, I can't talk and type at the same time, outline your modules and then topic number two could be what I'm discussing right now which is organizing the card and again no one's going to see this only this is just for you to remember and to kind of jog your memory on what you want to talk about so when you're going to create your script for your video, you're not starting from a blank slate. And then topic number three, which I haven't talked about yet, but I will in a moment, is refining your course outline. So refining your course outline by moving cards around. Nothing fancy dancy about this, so just notes for myself. So I know what it is that I'm talking about. And then before I move on to topic three, I'm gonna finish my topic number two, which is organizing your cards. And here's where I want to show you how you can add attachments. You simply just click attachment and then you can upload something from your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, which I don't even know what that is. I've heard of it a bunch of times, but I honestly have never used it or know what it is. And then OneDrive. Um, you can also just paste a link of any of these in here and then it will upload. And so what I like to put here is the lesson scripts for the video lesson and the worksheet if I have that completed. And also maybe other things just of points of reference or inspiration that I want to remember to go back to. So you could add a link to different websites or examples you want to refer back to. And if you're to do that, you can just add a comment here. So like, here's a link. And then send. And then finally, we all know how important due dates are because only what gets scheduled actually gets done. So here you can add a due date. And then I also like to color coordinate my cards so I can see at a glance where I am with it. So if you click on this, you can add titles to each of the colors. 
So yellow means it's in progress, green means it's completed, and then orange is that it's not yet started. So if I had done that for all of these cards already, at a glance I could see what's already been done, what's in progress, where I left off, and where I can pick back up on. And then now, that topic number three that I was going to talk about is why I think Trello is really amazing for outlining your course and so much better than just any other project management tool that you could use, like Evernote or outlining it in, in a Google Doc or something like that. The reason I think it works so well for this is because when you first are brainstorming your course, unless you are just like an alien or just a, absolutely amazing, you're not going to have your course outline exactly how you want it to be on that first go ahead. So it really allows you to just kind of brain dump and you can start putting things in here as they come to your mind, but know that you have complete flexibility to move things around very, very easily. So if I had put a topic here that I decided, you know what, that actually makes more sense to teach it later on. I can very easily drag and drop things however I want. Same thing with the actual modules. That's why I don't really like keeping the name as module one or module two or lesson 1.1, lesson 1.3, unless you're really far down the course creation or course outlining process and you're pretty sure that's exactly how you want it to be. Because if you just have the names, it allows you to move things around very freely. So you don't feel confined and you can experiment on what feels right for your course. And then last but not least, the other final tip I want to leave you with for outlining in Trello is that it's really useful to go ahead and add other people to your boards. So if you click here and go to add members, you can use that at sign and then just start typing someone, someone's username in or you could use their email. And then a list of people will pop up and you can choose who you want to invite to have access to your board. That way you can work with other team members or friends or colleagues or just to get feedback from people on the course outline and what they think, it's really easy to collaborate back and forth. And then when you add new things to each of your cards, you can use you can tag them by using the at symbol and be like at Megan. And that person will get a notification to go ahead and look at the board. So it's also a really, really useful collaboration tool. So that's my longer than 60 seconds, but still fairly short, useful tip on outlining your course with Trello. Now go ahead and put it to use.